Hello everyone, my name is Ravindra Sudhafule. Welcome to introductory course on JMOC, a mocking test framework that is widely used in software development industry these days. In this course, I will explain what is JMOC, when do you need to use JMOC in the software development lifecycle. Then I will also show you how to download JMOC and install on your machine and we will walk through the setup process and then we will create some examples of using JMOC in the code. JMOC is very popular test framework used to mark dependencies in a software test framework. For example, if you have a multiple objects like car, engine, gas tank in your software code it's quite possible that you are writing some of the classes and the other persons are writing the other classes for example let's say if you are writing car class it's quite possible that the other person is writing an engine class and its behavior now it's quite possible that the person who's writing a car object has finished the coding before uh, the person who was writing the engine object. Now the engine object is depend dependency for a car object. So the person who's writing a test for car object cannot really test the car object until the person who is writing the engine object finish his development. So this creates a, a bottleneck when writing a test framework. Also, it's quite possible that some of the dependencies like services or database makes call over the network and incur a huge overhead. This in turn makes your test slow, unreliable because if the network is down, your test won't run, even though the behavior of classes is correct. And also it brings unreliability in picture and also the fault isolation is not easy because in this particular case you won't know whether a car object is having an issue or engine object is having an issue when the test for car fails. <coughs> JMOX overcomes all of these limitations. First, it allows you to mark dependencies like when you are writing a test for class, it can mark the dependency for engine object even though the engine object is not ready, you can still run the test cases locally. Also, it avoids over the network call because JMOC uh, simulates the dependencies locally. And also, since there is no network call, your test runs reliably. Also, fault isolation is easy because you are just testing your class and mocking all the dependencies. So if the test fails, most likely it's due to the behavior in your class. And that way, the fault isolation becomes very easy. So it's a very exciting framework. This course is available on udemy.com. Hope to see you there. Thank you.